American media, America, a lot of American media is. If you say that, that would be anti-Semitic. So I'm not going to go there. All right. Oh, is that you can say this if you want. I don't think any has anybody ever gotten banned by saying I feel like Jews have a lot of influence on American media. Like. Can't you? I don't think anybody has anybody been banned for saying that. Uh, I'm, 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 they're, they're telling me everything that I say now is anti-Semitic. Oh, but, but I'm saying that the, this guy is definitely anti-Semitic and definitely hates Jews, by the way. One trillion percent. But even the Jewish people in Israel telling you these are lies. Well, my friends, my Jewish friends who they say that they say that the media is mostly run by Jewish folks. I don't think that that's. It is. <laughs> they told me that. They, it is. It is. All of the corporates, all of the CEOs, are, but that's that's a different. But I don't want to go into their their intention. I'm just giving you a case that it well, didn't have. Say that though. Well, according to a bill that was passed by the Congress two months ago, there's now an anti-Semitic bill that anything, any criticism to Israel will be counted as anti-Semitic. Any criticism to Jewish people who might have a do. That sounds like a real bill. That sounds like it's regular. It's actually super illegal in the U.S. Yes, that sounds like a real thing for sure. A dual loyalty to Israel and, and, and America. If you attack them, that would be called anti-Semitic. If you talk about APAC controlling the elections and giving money, that's anti-Semitic. It's like, wait a minute. That's against the First Amendment of the United States. Because I can, I have, I have, I have grown up seeing people shitting on everything on the American president, on the American, on religion, on Jesus oh, yeah. Christ, Gays, oh, oh, whites, blacks, Jesus, whites, Muslims, Jesus. but when you, Santa. but suddenly when you talk about Israel, which is a foreign country that we give aid, you can't speak. You can't talk about you, you, you're labeled anti-Semitic. Why? As he's on one of the largest podcasts, I think in the U S talking about this. <laughs> okay. I think Theophan is like a really good, a lot of American media. Conservatives are so wacky. They go to so many places to talk about things they can't talk about. It's crazy how they're able to do that. A question about uh, just just obviously you know running and, and being in politics do you take what sometimes the media says about you personally like i don't know if you saw that there was like a whole clip of like i'm, not, I'm sorry i didn't mean to imply theo Vaughn as a conservative i'm saying conservatives say it all the time they're like we can't talk about this we can't, and then they talk about it everywhere but not, technically neither of those people are conservatives people call oh, no, you right Dude, on. <laughs> did you see that um, it was like I, a clip of like, that. I certainly know the Kamala campaign wants to call me weird, but, yeah, I but I'm clip. wondering why that word. And because like, it was on like a, it was like clipped on like a thousand different media outlets. Like they were all using the same word. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know if it's like something they focus grouped and decided to push on us. I mean, <laughs> like I'm a pretty normal guy. I've got a wife yeah. and kids and I like to hang out and, you know, watch football and I have a <laughs> If Zuckerberg ever said something like this, people would be making the robot jokes. I didn't think he was a robot. He said, like, I'm a normal person. I have a wife and kids, and I like to watch football. <laughs> like, you want to talk about, like, a focus grouped answer? Wait, what is that? I don't know if it's, like, something they focus grouped and decided to push on us. I mean, <laughs> like, I'm a pretty normal guy. I've got a wife yeah. and kids, and I like to hang out and, you know, watch football. And <laughs> Okay. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> True. Now it seems like a funny moment to point out that Quidditch is a mixed sex, full contact sport. That's true. Why didn't J.K. Rowling have it divided between male teams and female teams? Hmm. How is it that J.K. Rowling could write Harry Potter? What, what happened to her? Her brain got annihilated by trans people. Jesus. Conservatives are right when they say that transgenderism is like a mental disease. The problem is they just don't realize the mental disease is what is inflicted upon conservatives whenever they have to consider anything related to trans issues. Holy shit. I mean, Harry Potter was influenced by quite traditional themes. Um, I feel like Harry Potter was pretty squarely, I don't know if I would call it like progressive or whatever, but... I don't think you would ever read Harry Potter and get the feeling that there's like hardcore trad theming in it or whatever, right? Like when you think of like, I already know what people are gonna fuck. Cause I was gonna say like Professor McGonnell, Mc, McGonnell, was that her name? Mc, McGonnell? She beat Snape in a duel when Snape was gonna leave the castle kind of, but people are gonna say, well, Snape intentionally lost in a duel cause he didn't wanna hurt um, McGonagall? Oh, was it that? Um, I think you had lots of wizards that were really powerful, females and males. I don't think that anybody was like, oh, you're a girl, so you can't, I don't think that, I feel like, um, I feel like Harry Potter was pretty, it felt like something that fit squarely into like the 90s, the 2000s. I feel like Snape's role was pretty, like potions, kind of feel, kind of feels like a girl's thing, do you think? Potions? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. 
Hermione had a few female power arcs. Yeah. 